Hello there. Happy third Sunday of Advent. I've got my little candle. I hope you've got your candle. If you haven't, give me a pause. Go and find a candle and I'm going to light this in thanksgiving for the season of Advent when we think about Jesus coming the first time, all the details of his coming and the fact that he fulfilled so many prophecies when he came and the fact that he is coming again. He's coming in glory and we shall see him. Whether we live until he comes or whether we go to sleep and are resurrected when he comes, we shall see him. We shall see him, that is the promise. When he comes, he'll wake us up. So we thank you, Lord, today that you came and that you fulfilled so many promises of the Old Testament. Thank you for your, the fact that you keep your promises. You came, your first advent, and you're coming again, a second advent. So today I'm thinking about the prophecy about where Jesus would be born. And that is the prophecy from the, from the prophet Micah. If you're not familiar with the Old Testament, it's quite near to the end of the Old Testament. Um, you get past uh, Hosea, Joel, Amos, uh, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah in the 12 minor prophets towards the end of the Old Testament. If you can't find it, look it up. There's, most, there's an index in your Bible, you'll find it. But Micah uh, chapter five, says this in verse two, but you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in travail has brought forth, then the rest of his brethren shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. The prophecy of the coming of Jesus, the Messiah, to Bethlehem. Now, you might think, well, why would anyone believe that that applied to the Messiah? Well, when we look at Matthew chapter 2, the well-known story of the coming of the three wise men, the Magi from the East that came and worshipped and brought gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Well, when they came following the star, they went quite naturally to Jerusalem. Now you might say, why would they go to Jerusalem? Well, actually, if you look at a map of the, the Holy Land and you look where Jerusalem is and where Bethlehem is, they're very close together uh, geographically. Um, and the star had stopped. So they knew where the baby had been born and they made the assumption that it would be in the palace, that the King of Kings, the, the Messiah, the great one, the great ruler would be born in the palace. So they went to the palace and Herod the Great was king at that time. And uh, he was troubled, he, he was distressed, he heard it. Um, and he, these magi, these unusual visitors came and he called in the uh, wise scribes and priests. It's in Matthew chapter two and asked where the Messiah was going to be born. The anointed one was going to be born. And they said to him in verse five in Bethlehem of Judea. For so it is written by the prophet and you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah. And, that, and then there's the quote of verse five, verse two from Micah chapter five. So it was well known and well accepted by the people uh, and by the scribes and by the people that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Why was he born in Bethlehem? Because Bethlehem was the town, the little town where, and it was a little town, oh little town of Bethlehem. It wasn't a big city, it was a little town, but it was the town of David's ancestry. And if you go back to Ruth, if you have a look at Ruth chapter one, verse one, and, and have a look at some of the other verses in Ruth, 
Naomi and her family, that is Ruth's mother-in-law, and Boaz, they all lived in Bethlehem. And Naomi and her family had, had to flee uh, because of a famine, and then they came back to Bethlehem. And it was in Bethlehem that Ruth met Boaz and that they settled out, got married and settled down. And she had a child, Obed, and Obed was the father of Jesse, and Jesse was the father of David. So Bethlehem is the place where the family of David lived. And it was to Bethlehem that Samuel went to anoint David as king. The word Bethlehem, the name Bethlehem, means house of bread or house of food supply, nourishment, but basically house of bread. And I find that fascinating that the, th the first two verses on from where Bethlehem is named in Micah, it says, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord. He shall feed his flock. And Jesus himself called himself the good shepherd, responsible for feeding his flock. It all ties together. The scripture, it, 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 it is so perfect. It's so perfect. It is no wonder there are sceptics who think it must have been written long after the event and somebody tied it all together and wrote it down. But no, historically, Micah was written something like 500 years before Jesus was born. And the prophecy here is specific of Bethlehem. So Jesus was to be born in Bethlehem. Here is the promise. And you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah. Ephrathah is the name that Bethlehem had originally back in um, Genesis 30, I think it's 35 somewhere. Um, the word Ephrathah, but it, so it had two names because there were two places called Bethlehem. And so they had a second name to it, to distinguish it, you know, but this was Bethlehem near Jerusalem who are little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. This tells us that the one who was to come existed before he was born. He had been there before. He had been there before, from ancient days. He was he was active in the history. The, my footnote says uh, the son existed long before his birth in Bethlehem, but he was to be born in Bethlehem when she who was in travail has brought forth. So he was to be born in Bethlehem. And then if you look at Luke chapter one, when it tells the birth of Jesus, the way God engineered it, that Mary was in Jerusalem at the right time to give birth and for the baby to be born in Jerusalem, the Lord put it into the mind of the um, of the Empire of Rome to call a census, so that Joseph had to go to to Bethlehem just at the time when Jesus was due to be born. God moved everything. God caused it so that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem and not born in Nazareth. It's a, it's, it's a, the, the story of the birth of Jesus is full of God taking action and God making sure that the prophecies that were made of old would be fulfilled in Jesus. And he fulfilled them perfectly. He was born in Bethlehem. It's Micah 5, 2 to 5. We bless the Lord today for his coming and that he was born not in not in the te not in the the palace but in a humble place born among ordinary people not born among royalty and nobility he came for all he came to redeem all starting at the bottom of society right the way up to the top he came for everyone have a great day today the third sunday of advent god bless you bye bye